Have you ever stopped to think how your life could change in two months? Hank was told he had metastatic renal cell carcinoma in December. He was admitted to Gosnell Memorial Hospice House on January 13th with excruciating pain and paresis due to a T8 compression fracture. Hank and Teresa had been married for nine years. They had an 18-month-old daughter named Bernie. Compassion, care, and comfort. If we meet a patient's medical and spiritual concerns, have we done enough? Or are we called to do more? What would you want to do if you only had two months to live? In my role as the house director, I frequently visit Gosnell patients. The day I walked into Hank's room, I forgot I was the house director. Instead, I found myself thinking like a wife and a mother. I thought, if this were my husband and my daughter, what would I want? What would I wish I had? Sitting on the couch with Teresa, I asked her what was left undone. For some reason, family photos were on my mind. Teresa shared that she had meant to get family photos, but it just hadn't happened. I assured her that we would make it happen. The interesting part of the story is that the photographer who does my family photos had recently lost her dad. I encouraged her to sign up for one of our Living With Grief writing workshops, and she was so appreciative of the experience. Crystal Arsenault from Capture the Moment Photography volunteered her professional services to help this family capture some lasting memories. At the same time, Gosnell staff also worked to create memories for this family. Luckily, we have resources designated in our comfort fund to provide the extra special touches. The family wanted to have a slumber party. It took six staff members to transfer Hank to our new bariatric bed so that his wife could be closer to him and his daughter could lie next to him. We created a basket of snacks for movie night and bought Bernie a stuffed animal and a sticker book. We secured a copy of the movie Frozen and they had their slumber party. The next day, the photographer came. The hospice aides gave Hank extra attention to get him ready for his photo shoot. The photographer was so touched by this interaction that she edited and returned a CD of the photos within hours of the session free to the family. In the meantime, the social work team started talking about making Bernie a teddy bear out of one of Hank's shirts. We couldn't find someone who provided this service. The volunteer coordinator sent out a plea. One of our volunteers spent hours figuring out how to make a teddy bear. This is a picture of her first try. Three days after the photo session, Hank died. It was two months from the time of his diagnosis until the time of his death. Hank was 42 years old. Hank's wife told the social worker, Gosnell is like a light in a dark time. A few weeks after Hank died, we received a letter. Words cannot begin to express how thankful I am for the Gosnell Memorial Hospice House and your amazing staff and volunteers. The care that my husband received in the last week of his life was dignified and unparalleled. The compassion and generosity that everyone extended to not only Hank, but to my daughter Bernadette and myself will surely never be forgotten. I was truly touched by the abundance of sincere kindness and thoughtfulness that was extended to us. The tremendous care that you provided allowed us to remain together as a family until the very end, and that was a wonderful blessing. I was very glad that Hospice of Southern Maine could make Hank and Teresa's last moments complete. This is the something more we always strive for.